please can you introduce yourself? Uh, who shall I introduce myself to? Um, <laughs> only joking. Phil Beer, hello. Hi, Phil. And uh, what's your favourite folk song? Uh, Adieu, sweet, lovely Nancy. And why? Why do you like that one? Uh, it ha- just it's it's kind of song perfection. Uh, Cecil Sharp, the song collector, is supposed to have said, and I can't verify the truth of this, uh, the individual invents and the community selects, which is a very good way of describing the process of tradition. Um, so anyway, whether or not he did actually say that, I don't care. It's it's a great way of uh, putting it. But what effectively is being said is that, you know, someone comes up with an idea you know, they hum, sing, or whatever that idea to someone else. Someone else mishears it, changes a word here, changes the tune there, and a process is started. And those processes go in two directions. Sometimes they take a left field, left turn at the traffic lights. Mm-hmm. And uh, and there, let's face it, there are some awful folk songs out there. They're absolute rubbish. But if it takes the right turn, it becomes improved and honed and changed to the point where it kind of almost becomes lyrical and musical perfection. And uh, I think that A Jew Sweet Lovely Nancy is a prime example of that. And uh, it's funny, I learnt it from a, a folk singer, now dead, a chap called Martin Bloomer. And what I didn't know when I first heard this beautiful song uh, was that, of course, he had learnt it just like everyone else from the Copper family, you know. And funnily enough, I was at a concert with Jill Copper only, what, three weeks ago, four weeks ago, Cambridge, and we were actually talking about this very thing, you know, because she remembers this guy, Martin, and uh, him learning the song and so on, and they actually sang the song at their gig, you know, and I was just reminded of this process again of kind of, you know, trimming it, honing it, turning it into musical perfection. It's got everything going for it, this song. It tells an epic story. It uh, contains fantastic irony, you know, uh, and a form of resignation. There's nothing political about it or anything. It simply tells a story from the view of a Napoleonic sailor, you know, and it's brilliant. Ah, did I go on a bit? Sorry. It was absolutely perfect. <laughs> Do you want to give us a little bit of it? And here's oh. a Jew, sweet, lovely Nancy, 10,000 times a Jew. I'm bound across the ocean to seek for something new. Come change your ring with me, dear girl. Come change your ring with me. That it might be a token of true love when I am on the sea. Thank you so much. That was lovely.